Hi there, and welcome back to the channel. So, I had planned on coming in here, as you can see, I have my guitar over here, so I have proof. I had planned on uh, trying to put on another uh, guitar track, and I hadn't really um, thought out a part, except for a little like whammy bar part. It was basically like chords on the chorus, and maybe adding um, this kind of whammy moment, just But I felt like it overwhelmed uh, the main guitar. And the main guitar sounds good. It has like a good tone. And it's kind of like the one guitar says it all thing. You know, sometimes one guitar just says it all. And uh, if you try to do something else, you sort of diminish that uh, says it all quality. And the, um, the other guitar sort of fights, takes away some of that quality. And tone, you know, frequency wise, they definitely will fight and one of them will kind of take over and I could tell that this new part was taking over and I didn't want that to be dominant I wanted the main part to be dominant so um, I also when I arranged the tune I kind of purposefully sort of arranged it tight meaning there was no space to um, you know put like a another guitar part or have room to stretch out as far as playing guitar goes, just because this particular song didn't lend itself to that for whatever reason. You may have a different opinion when you hear it, but I didn't feel like there was an opening for that. And um, I'm not like some hot, you know, amazing guitar player or something where anybody listening to the song is waiting for the moment where I go off on guitar or whatever. So um, none of that, you know, felt like it was in play. So right now, I feel like it's in, um, you know, sort of com you know initial completed mode doesn't mean I won't go back and retrack it doesn't mean I won't fix something if I hear it as time goes on or when I come back to it to mix and master because my goal now is to get this next song written and played hopefully I can do that in the next couple days if I can just find the third part everything else is going well it's just the third part is missing um, but uh, I want to get that, you know, get that song going, and I'm hoping to be able to finish this one and move right into that one. If not, if it's not ready, I'm going to start mixing and mastering the record so that I can get it, you know, completed and like kind of see what I've, what I have. Sort of been rolling with the tunes and not spending a lot of time with them uh, lately. Going back and listening to what they even sounded like. Um, I've checked the channel a couple of times, but I haven't really sat down with the Zoom here and just gone through those three or four songs um, that I've run through lately and just they sort of sound similar some of them have similar it's like all of it was the same inspiration moment so they're all sort of coming from the same place and I just I can't remember the riffs on some of them like to, uh, there was one called uh, The Lover I think yeah and I don't even remember like I was trying to remember the main riff without playing it I haven't played it back and I could not for the life of me remember it um, so those songs just kind of came and went quickly and I need to go back and just sort of, you know, get them in my head, make sure I know what the record is. It's like somewhere between uh, eight and ten songs, something like that. And uh, I just want it to be, you know, really good. And I want the songs to be the best ones I've ever written, basically. But, you know, we'll see what happens. All right, so, and I'm hoping to have that next song, you know, in the next couple of days. If that does not happen... I'm going to start mixing and mastering the record on camera, just going back to the songs, getting everything sorted in mastering mode, and trying to get like a finished mix. I'll put that on camera, do each song, and hopefully by then um, this other song will be done. I'll have a completed thing. I can start, I'll make whatever I'm going to make out of it, and then hopefully, uh, you know, do live shows to represent it. Um, just get it going. All right, so get the whole cycle going, make a record, go out and play it, have fun, you know, do that. All right, so uh, let me just let me just get this playback here. All right, so I usually, when I do this, not usually, I always do this, even if it's just if I'm alone, you know, if I'm not even playing it back for the camera, I'm going to be in mastering mode just because it sounds so much better. All right, so the first thing I do is bring the red fader down, and then I'm going to go to, uh, the algorithm is called... Um, mastering and then uh, the first patch is number double zero plus alpha and you can use any of the ones you want and some of these preset ones are good like a couple times I've been recording live situations like our live covers where we're in a house our house and uh, 
we're just trying to uh, you know get like a, a, a dual mic you know recording what I've done with it and I'm playing it back or like before I'm done with it when I'm you know setting up the levels I might try some of these and I've found some of them to be just good right out of the box for live uh, but for doing records I, I like this first one but you could use any of them and manipulate them however you want because I go into edit mode here and you make sure it's sitting on master otherwise if it's on one two three you know it's only gonna master the tracks it's sitting on so make sure it's sitting at master um, now the three band uh, compression here the crossover is 50 on the high and the low the sense is since I I'm gonna bring that up to five I'm gonna take the mid down to five and the low down to five. Um, the mix high two two zero two. I'm going to bring that. Uh, heck, I'll just make it all five. All these are five. Sometimes I'll do two zero two uh, because the original forum that I read about doing this, uh, they would do that. Okay, on the normalizer gain zero. I don't need a normalizer. Uh, three band EQ. Let's just do fives so and we'll see. I could also do the 202 thing um, that was in that advice. Level 62. Um, I take all the dimension, you know, room stuff off. Patch level 24, but you can play with that and go up one, go down a couple. Who knows? I've done it live before. Noise reduction, I uh, put zero off. Okay, so um, that's the setting. And then what I'm going to do is kind of just sort of make sure something here okay my first four tracks are vocals and that's usually what you kinda have to play with the most um, and then I'm gonna try to get the a good sounding um, so I'm gonna pull everything down and we'll just get the drums up first how about that alright here we go well, I guess it would help if I brought the level up but you do want to keep that red level down, you know, your master, until you know how loud it's going to be, because that's the big surprise when you go into mastering mode. It gets way louder. Okay, here we go. Okay, there's so 52 seconds of drums, those sound pretty solid. Okay, now I'm going to go and start moving the guitars in and the bass and then eventually the vocal. One, two, Yeah. 
So, I don't know if you agree, but it felt tight. The, the arrangement felt tight, like there was no way to get in with uh, another guitar. And man, these Lawler pickups and this black Limba body and the roasted maple neck on this strap. Mm. And uh, it, you can tell there's like power, like electricity. Like electricity, that's obvious, you know, this is an all electrical experience, but. Sometimes you can like feel the electricity. There's like an excitement in a track. And somehow, I feel like that track, that guitar track, got it. So, as you can see, I wasn't like super excited about stepping on it, you know. And uh, I wasn't feeling like anything inspiring popping out. Um, and I like the way the vocals uh, kind of sit inside the guitar. And there's like some little raw moments, but I'm going to leave it because it just feels... I was listening to uh, Where Is My Mind on the way in here. Um, and uh, it's something uh, about that, hearing that, like it's so raw, you know, just laying it down. When I was driving in, I hear the Pixies just, you know, laying it down. These drums sound so wide open in that track. The whole record, like the drums are just like so natural whole record sounds really natural like they're just playing all right so that's the playback on that I'm hoping the next video that I have or the next video I'm gonna make will be the debut of my new tune and what do I have the name of it is the exciter so I'm hoping it's exciting um, you know that's the goal but um, man, that's why I gotta get that third part that's the trick um, I think this one came out pretty well. It's just hard to say when you're doing it. You're like in the middle of it. It's like I can't tell if it's any good or not or if it, you know, what it is. But I think it's, it was a good exercise. It's a song that exists. And uh, now I just got to keep writing more. Never try to get, I tr don't try to get hung up, you know, like on each song. You just write it and move on, keep going, keep going. Hopefully, you know, you'll get the, the, the better material that you're going for, the best songs you can possibly um, come up with. That's the goal, is just keep getting better and more interesting. Have more guitar, more melody, more ideas, you know, or maybe less, maybe less of all that. But whatever it is, it, you know, has shape and form and makes the songs more interesting to the listener, makes them more interesting to make, you know. All right, so hopefully everything's going well with everyone's projects. Like, Hopefully you've got your Zoom and you're just feeling good. You know, you've got some good stuff happening and it's giving you that, that feeling of accomplishment. I hope that's happening for everyone watching. If there's any way I can help, please reach out. And um, the next thing I think I'm going to do is hopefully debut that tune. If not, um, I'll think of something. All right, next time. Oh, I'll be doing the mixing and mastering. But hopefully I'll come up with something interesting to do, you know, in addition. All right, next time.